something else that's quite useful to keep in mind is the fact that I'm not limited to just trying to troubleshoot visually based upon what it looks like the output produced was, but typically I'll have some idea of what it should have been regardless of what it actually was. So maybe let's say I'm very confident that this output is exactly right, and as I make changes, I wanna be able to compare those changes uh, to what the output was at this point in time. So with this copy to expected button up here, as it sounds, I'm gonna to copy to the expected pane. And as an example of perhaps for whatever reason, I thought that, that particular coverage for flood insurance was going to be a bit more uh, expensive at $3,000 versus $2,689. Now when I run it, it will highlight for me any of the differences that uh, between the output that I expected and the actual output and if I had multiple, I can quite easily cycle through them up here in the right-hand side with the differences count of being one. If I had more than that, I could cycle through them quite easily and isolate out which specific aspects of the output payload produced a different result than I would have expected.